So I'm Marta Vadkevotev and I'm a consultant in pediatric allergy and I'm the course director of the allergy, so PGC, diploma and MSc here at Imperial. Uh, I'm Anand Trostovic, I'm clinical professor of pediatric allergy and I help Marta as much as I can. So um, the Epis graduate program at Imperial um, so encompasses three levels. So the first level will be the Epis graduate certificate and that involves uh, three modules. So each model takes uh, a week of face-to-face -face teaching and that usually happens in October, January and April time. And the areas that are covered, so first is the scientific basis of allergy. So we cover the, so the immunological basis of allergic diseases and how that's, that, that correlates with clinical presentation, diagnostic tests and, and therapies. So the second module in January is a very nice module on uh, diagnosis of, and treatment of allergic disease and it's very, very practical uh, and students are always very happy about that one. And the third one is the cutting edge of allergy where we cover uh, what's new in research and also we give the students the basic tools to start doing their own research. So that's, let's say, year one, so the PG set here. So the second year will be the uh, postgraduate diploma year and the students uh, do six modules and each module takes two days of face-to-face uh, -face teaching. Um, and then we have so food allergy, uh, allergic gastrointestinal disease, we've got uh, allergic rhinoconjunctivitis, we've got allergic airway, airway disease, um, pediatric allergy and allergic skin diseases. So I think the main result for the student is, is really becoming an expert in allergy and so knowing from the very basics of the immune mechanisms behind allergic disease to how this relates to the clinical presentation, what the best tests are, what the best therapies and prevention strategies are and also um, so the knowledge and the skills that students um, gain through the course are very, very practical and they really can apply that from day one in their clinical practice. If doing the course will put you at that level of you know, being an expert in allergy and being able to provide the best possible care for your patients and evidence-based care um, according to the highest standards. So, Another important thing that we try to do is to cater for various needs. If you're a busy clinician and you want to improve your clinical skills, uh, there are parts of courses that are specifically targeted to do this. If you are a basic scientist wanting to understand how to improve your career prospects in the future, we want to cater for that. If you work in industry and want to understand uh, this whole uh, framework within uh, allergic diseases, respiratory diseases, pediatrics and allergy, we try to cater for that. In terms of healthcare professionals, we have very much a, a quite a variety group where we have doctors but also nurses, dietitians with a very uh, very clear interest in allergy, we have GPs, we have uh, paediatricians specialised in allergy or with an interest, we've got ENT doctors, dermatologists, we've got chest physicians. So our students are really a multidisciplinary group and you very much see that they build this, this connection and this um, you know, this interaction where they also learn very much from each other. What we try to do is really give you the cutting edge. We present the very latest data that may or may not be published within next year or two. So our students are exposed to true cutting edge of allergy and that is unique. Uh, very, very difficult to replicate anywhere else. And we're very, very lucky in the course to have this um, we're leading experts really in the various fields in allergy and they are module leaders in our course and they're very much involved in the teaching uh, and the students really have the unique opportunity to meet uh, and, and, and really have a one-to-one -one relationship with these experts. So most of our students are really busy, they most have full-time demanding jobs uh, usually in the public health care system and they also have families, young children and you know the course is very flexible so they of course have to come here for, uh, for one week of face-to-face -face teaching or two days or four days and the course very much works around them in terms of uh, 
working at their own pace at home in the evenings and they, they find the way around it. Allergic diseases are extremely common, so 25% of the population has allergic rhinitis and however if you look back at medical school or nursing school we don't get any allergy training or any allergy lectures there so when you jump out as a healthcare professional you hardly know anything about allergy and then you face all these patients who you know and Allergic diseases have a really significant impact on quality of life of our patients. And yet, despite the fact that uh, we're looking at the most common chronic non-communicable diseases, the pool of healthcare professionals and scientists working on this problem is comparably tiny. I mean, if you're interested in allergy, uh, this is the place to come. There are very few other places where you can do this. There are very few other places with depth and breadth of expertise and excellence that goes back more than a century. I mean, you know, here we are at St. Mary's Hospital, the original allergy hospital. This is the place where first injection of immunotherapy has, administ has been administered in 1906. And this is a place where penicillin was invented. Imperial is uh, really a place with a tradition of excellence in research in allergy, spanning very basic research to very clinical one. This is really the place where clinical allergy as we know it has started. So if you want to find, uh, find out more about the course, um, look into the website and um, you can approach our course administrator for more individual questions as well.